Japanese resistance to xenotransplantation from other species is not a necessarily clearly thought out or logical sort of thing. It's rather the sense that the purity of my body would be violated if I took in a, an organ from a different species. It certainly doesn't have to do with protecting animals because Japan's hospitals and research institutes continue to conduct very cruel experiments on all range of mammals. Uh, there's less animal protection in the Far East than there is in Europe and America at this point. But there's a different attitude that my life is to be lived by me and that when I'm born I have a certain amount of, of life uh, of uh, I'm entitled to a certain lifespan. And the way I spend that lifespan is my responsibility and my decision. But when my life is up, I'm not to seek to extend it artificially, especially at the expense of other beings. Um, resignation is a term often used in connection with Buddhism. It's too strong a term, but there is often a notion of acceptance, that this is my time and I have lived my time and I'm not going to push that boundary. Of course, there are people who don't believe that, and those are the people who are waiting in line for organs. But organ transplants also pose a lot of problems in terms of allocation of resources. When you say to one person, you can have a heart, you're also saying to the three or 30 people waiting in the next room, you cannot, and you cannot, and you cannot. And you guys all die while this fellow gets a heart. The mechanisms to decide who gets and who does not have not been made clear in the Far East yet. So before we can jump into the tech, what technology makes possible, we also have to set up legal mechanisms, social mechanisms, and administrative mechanisms to decide that there's no unfairness going on there.